people are mined for the atar and perfume. So we want to create something to give more and more uh, enjoying the perfume, fragrance all over the world. Okay. The agarwood, it is coming from the many different countries of the world, especially from India, Burma, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, Malaysia, Bangladesh, and Papua New Guinea. So once uh, we bought the tea from the different countries and we bring in Dubai, and then we have to cut the size, and then we have to remove completely the white color one, and then where there is a, some bed inside. So we have to remove all these things and make very clean, clear. You can see, you can find this piece is half have already been worked, but half is still is working. So you can see how the processing, the processing will take very carefully the people who is the expert on this agar wood, they can clean it and then it is a very expensive things. Now the agarwood is many countries and different of the price of the agarwood. Mostly high quality agarwood. Now it is selling is around 100,000 to 150,000 US dollar per kg. So and then after the cleaning the whole the small dust you can find in here. The, that dust will take to the our factory to take the oil. I can show you how to processing the oil of the uh, from the agarwood. It will take long time to get the oil. At least we have to put in the under water around three to four months. Then we put in the boiling. Boiling uh, takes seven seven to fifteen days. After that, we have to keep for filtering and processing. One Dhanilu is coming to the market, we need at least two to three years, then it has come to the market. This is the agarwood you can see in front of me. It is coming from the different countries of the world. And then after we bring it to our factory in Dubai, then we have to grading, make separately. There is a quality wise and quantity wise. Also, the, uh, some of the quality you have to be uh, takes long time to keep, make it dry. After drying, we have to cut it, make the powder. And after making this powder, we have to put in the water, keep at least for three months in the water. Then we put the boiler, and the boiler will ne uh, need minimum uh, 15 days to boil it. And after boiling, they get the oil from the, uh, the wood. This is the wood you can see here. From this wood, we can put in the machine, make the powder, and after this powder, we can keep in the stock here. You can see the powder when we have stocked this powder. After uh, that, we can bring to in this place. We can keep in the water for three months, and after three months, this is go to the boiler, and this boiler you can have boiling 24 hours. Uh, at least minimum 15 days. From this 15 days boiling the wa wa perfume, the hinulod is coming from uh, this boiler. This is the boiler you can see. This is uh, one boiler can carry at least a uh, bigger one, 1000 kg and the smaller one is take the 500 kg. And this 500 kg from the high quality wood, you can get only from two to three kilo, you will get uh, 12 gram of the oil and the low quality you will get from 5 kilo you get at 12 gram of the oil. This is the 100% pure oil 
from and we have to grating different country different powder and uh, the quality wise we boiling more if the low quality we boiling on only 10 days if it is high quality we can boiling at 15 days if you want to move from Saudi Arabia or we want to expand the business in, I think we, I can choose in the better place in Dubai. Then I came back to Saudi Arabia. I spoke to my father and told me that we want to open a showroom in Dubai. This is the first processing of the perfume. This is the main stock for the perfume. When we have to make one perfume, that time we have to calculate how many pieces. It is going to be the 50,000 or 100,000 pieces. So how many percentage of the perfume we are going to use it. Accordingly, we'll arrange it and keep it in here for the mixing. After mixing, at least minimum is required the 21 days to keep here. After that, we have to remove to the small uh, container. This is the container we have to remove here and make the cool. And it is minus temperature, coming to the minus temperature. After the 50 degree of the minus temperature, we have to move to this container. And this container will be remain again minimum for 15 days before going to the production. And if it is going to the production, we have our uh, high high uh, technology of the lab that lab will be that lab will be testing about the perfume about the quality about the color about the long la lasting after confirming the lab then we'll go for the production before going to the production the first they are giving the report according to report it is produced or not and then it is come to here and check again the percentage of the perfume and it is the color and the long lasting, everything after checking from the lab, then after getting the confirmation from the lab, then they can go for the production. This is the filling machine. When they have cut to the filling, from this filling, they come this belt, and they will camping all these bottles. After camping, they will check each and every product, and then they clean it by hand, so everything is under control, uh, under the QC. They will check properly QC by one by one piece, then it will go for the packaging. Before packaging each and every product, they will check properly and cleaning nicely. Then QC is confirm the sticker, then it is go for the wrapping. This is the machine for the wrapping. Before going to machine, that the machine will be showing the barcode and the date of the production and the shift. If it is morning shift, it is evening shift, it is showing and the date. Then it is go for the uh, uh, wrapping. This is the final product. And then it is go for the um, dozen box. And then it is going for the master cut. This is the uh, wrapping machine. After the wrapping machine, it is coming to check about the wrapping. Each and every wrapping is correct. Then he can put in the dozen box. And after the dozen box, they can again put the wrapping and it is closed for the wonder zone. We have some of the special gift item for the every occasion. So this occasion you can find, this is the box of the gift item. And once you open it, this is the gift item with the wooden box and everything. Then once you open it, you will find there is a two different kind of perfume. And one is the oil perfume and what is the bukur. So he can use for every occasion in this product. And we have many different kind of uh, gift item. This is the four item. This is the another item. 
also from the oil spray and perfume. So many different types of the uh, gift item we are producing in here. This is one of the best product, uh, Al Haramain. This is managed good. This is the wrapping box. You can find this. This is the box inside the box. Then once you open it, then you find another perfume bottle. This is the bottle here. And it is very, very good, the product. You can see. This is the raw material for the perfume and we have collect from the many countries of the world and we preserve it here. Then we will take some sample and we have test it. And after testing, there is a lot of perfume and we have to mix how many percentage is required for this percent of the perfume. Some of the wood, wood, amber, sandal, and many other different kind of perfume, raw materials we have available. And it is very, very expensive perfume. We have to use some of the perfume. We can see the uh, spray perfume, maximum 15 to 20 percent we are using, and rest water and alcohol and other things we are using of the perfume. This is the raw material of the perfume, and we have to collect from the many types of the perfume and many different countries of the world, even especially we are specialized in the agarwood, amber and sandal. So our main focus on the perfume is the wood, wood based perfume. And Alhamdulillah on the Middle East, we are the number one of the agarwood and the Nulud product. This is the warehouse in our Haramain in the main factory is here. We have almost 150,000 square feet of this area and we have separate warehouse for another uh, production for the Dio and other perfume. At least we have 30 uh, warehouses in, du uh, in Ajman and Dubai. We have to try our best level. We can give you the good product. People cannot say Al Haramain product is bad. Yes. We, even we never compromise on the quality. Price also it is, mm -hmm. uh, even we lost, but we we'll, uh, check the price which price one is acceptable good. by the market mm -hmm. and people can afford to buy the product. Right. This is very important. This is the finished product uh, from the production. After finish every day, they will deliver it to here. And from this finished product, we'll deliver it to our old showroom in UAE. And if there is an export, we have different warehouse. From the different warehouse, we'll export to all over the world. This is the product we have, the sample is here. And any customer is coming from anywhere, they will see the product and range of the product is available and also there are uh, some of the accessories it is required for to sell in the perfume there are a lot of arabic customer is required to have a uh, different different type of container so we have all type of container and the product of the al haramain is it available in here Oh, yeah, he disappeared. One machine,
I can say I'm living more than 40 years in this country and so far alhamdulillah I never find any problem on this country but and I thanks to the ruler of UAE they think about foreigner and think about the investor and how to facilitate uh, to the investor to in this country and I feel very proud that now I am exporting more than 65 countries and all the product is made in UAE and it is showing this is the product from UAE. I am very much proud. Even when I go to outside of the country, people say, where are you living? I said, I'm living in Dubai. So I feel my pr proud that I'm living in Dubai. Views. Welcome to a new episode of Pearls of Union program. And as usual, we do, we host with you a successful personalities. Please welcome with me today, Mr. Mohammed Mihtab Rahman Nasser, the owner for Al Haramain Perfume Group. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. First of all, Mr. Mohammed, we need to talk a little bit about yourself. Can you introduce yourself to our viewers? They are watching us and the background of you and about your experience as well. Thank you very much. First of all, my name is Muhammad Mahtab Rahman. Yes. Uh, I born in 1958. Mm -hmm. And after I finished my study, mm -hmm. I have joined fi my father company in Saudi Arabia, holy place of Mecca, and uh, the name of the Al Haramain perfume. Mm -hmm. I have started work in my father company. And then uh, gradually, for the last five years in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. So I came to Dubai for a transit. So uh, let's remember a little bit, Mr. Muhammad, uh, when you start your own project and your own company and how you started here in UAA and how you moved from Saudi Arabia until here. When I came to Dubai, first I came as a transit from India going to Saudi Arabia. So I, I'm in the transit. So I went to the Mushid Bazaar and I found there is a lot of Indian people are Indian, Pakistani and foreign nationality. They are own the shop, they are working and they are doing the business. Very and good. that time we have already in Saudi Arabia, Makkah, mm -hmm. five showroom mm -hmm. in near by the Al Haramain. And we have one, the small factory also in Saudi Arabia. Very so good. then I came to Dubai mm -hmm. and I searched a shop. Say so I found a shop in Mushid Bazaar. So then I have opened the showroom and the all goods coming from Saudi Arabia to sell in Dubai market. Very good. And then I found there are many opportunity for uh, government side. They are importing, mm -hmm. exporting and uh, the processing of the uh, mm -hmm. product here is very easy. Mm -hmm. Then yes. I talked to my father that should I start a factory in Dubai? Mm -hmm. So he told me that, okay, you may go and uh, research again. Yeah, then I came again, again right. and tried to find the places in here mm -hmm. and I start a factory, small factory first in Dubai here. Yeah. Okay, so you told me that before you was in Saudi Arabia, you start together, you and your father. This is a family business. You continue uh, the root of your father and the success of your father. So after that, you came to UAA and you open your own business and under the same name. So let's first of all talk about Al Haramain name. There is a story behind that, of course. Okay, the Al Haramain, you know that it is from two places from Makkah and Medina called as a Al Haramain. So when we have started our company in Saudi Arabia, also the name of the Al Haramain. And this name is choosing my father. And then we have to continue that uh, same name. And not only of myself, in my all the brother are also involving in this business and they have been go to first in Saudi Arabia, then come to Dubai. 
Mm -hmm. Our whole family started from Saudi Arabia, then moved to Dubai. Yeah, very good. So let's talk, Mr. Mohammed, now deeply about this big name, Al Haramain, uh, and this company. Okay, let's talk about services, first of all, provided from the company. Please. Okay, uh, Al Haramain, there is a name, you told me, Alhamdulillah, we try to be a, that name will be remain as the respect for all the peoples. What, why they respect the Al Haramain? I want to give some of the things they should be uh, respect like this. Yes. That's why we have started in our production. Yeah. When we produce the perfume, our main business in the Agarud, Denulud, and mm -hmm. the other item. Mm -hmm. And now we have making the, some of the spray perfume, body lotion, bukhur, and uh, all the other item we are, yes. we are freshener we are making. So uh, you try and you do your best to took the trust of the customer. This is the most important now, yes. that, as we can say, yes, uh, in yes. Al Haramain group. Yes. Let's talk about the wood, first of all. Which kind of wood you have and how it's made? Now we have our company available all kinds of the wood. But there is a wood coming from the India, Bangladesh, Burma, Cambodia, Vietnam, mm -hmm. Laos, Indonesia, Malaysia, mm -hmm. all the many types of countries from the world the wood is coming. Mm -hmm. So every wood is the different smell and quality also is the different. Yes. Depend on the wood, how old the age of the tree and how it is growth. It is in the, uh, some of the countries there is a raining and cool season. Mm -hmm. That will be get different smell. Some of the countries less raining That's and raining, the yes. uh, uh, temperature is less. Classes. That it will give the different yes, type of the smell. For sure. So every country is different kind of product, yeah. every kind of different smell. And for our customer requirement, our production requirement, we have to buy from every countries of the world. Yes. Of Agarud, where it is available, we can use for the different type of product on this product. Yes, Good. of course. Let's talk a little bit about factories as we know and as we see now uh, you have a big factory but it's no, not only that one you have a lot of factories here let's talk about it and how many factories you have in UAA or outside UAA okay you see Agarwood we have this is the one of the largest I can say one of the largest perfume manufacturing mm -hmm. in the Middle East we have 147,000 square feet the area of this factory mm -hmm. and in front of there is a new factory we have to, uh, we are going to be open very soon also in 150,000 square mm -hmm. feet and we have office for 30,000 square feet of the office building is here. Burger. We have the laboratory is here and we have the boiler production Agarud and Denlud processing mm -hmm. the factory I show you already there are perfume uh, wood processing production also there and how to cleaning and how to make the quality grading of the wood. Mm -hmm. uh, Alhamdulillah, so far Alhamdulillah. we have in here available all the facility. But there are some factory which one we have the Cambodia, Laos, mm -hmm. Vietnam and uh, uh, Indonesia. You because, have factories in all these uh, places? Yeah, because this is the raw material of the agarwood. It is carrying is very difficult mm -hmm. to carry all these items. Mm -hmm. So we have the partner with the some factories. They will produce the agarwood oil from there and will taking the oil only. So yes. uh, Laos, Vietnam and Cambodia, we have the, our factory and Indonesia. From there we'll bring in the only for oil. Otherwise it is yes. very difficult to carrying is very high. Yeah. Cost is high. And also here we are using the gas. 
-hmm. when you are boiling the perfume through yeah. the gas yes. and when we are boiling the uh, uh, perfume with the uh, uh, wood it is get very uh, uh, different smell Yes, as we see this wood, you make it here in this factory, but it's handmade. This is very important. Let's talk about it and let's talk about the kind of wood that you have, that you say that there is a, uh, some of the wood very expensive, some it's not. Please. When you bring the tea, yeah. from the whole tea, you cannot find the whole type of the quality wood uh, available. So it, it should be by hand made and the processing should be through the hand because of the uh, because of the production the uh, if it is not by hand or by processing is not properly so you can lose and when you cut the tree we have to grade properly mm -hmm. grade one grade two grade three there is a quality now that day there is a high quality of the agarod in hundred thousand dollar to hundred fifty thousand dollar high mm -hmm. quality agarwood available in our factory and also there is a one type of wood called kinam wood kinam mm -hmm. is one of the expensive agarwood in the world it is started from five hundred thousand dollar per kilo up to the one million dollar per kg so alhamdulillah so far we have all type of agarwood available all type of quality available and in our production line, we are mostly uh, wood-based production, which one we are making. And it is specially required in the Middle East market. Mm -hmm. And right now, not in the Middle East market, also the, all the European countries, Asian countries, also they are looking for the wood product. So you can see a lot of branded products. Yes. Uh, they are u using the wood and they are selling in the market. Yes, yes. Um, uh, they are follow us. Of course, you have all qualities of food here. We can say in Al Haramayn group, Alhamdulillah, today Alhamdulillah. of the success. So, let's talk about the kind of perfume that you have. You said that you have uh, the wood perfume or just the wood, and you have a lot of uh, fragrance, a lot of kind. Let's talk a little bit and to let people know what you have exactly in this company. Okay, uh, only not the, uh, there is a base on the product what I'm telling about the agar. Mm -hmm. Out of this, we have all range of the product. Okay. And it is from, not in the, even in perfume, bukhur, oud, air freshener, body lotion, Very cream, good. everything, alhamdulillah, we have available. Mm -hmm. And alhamdulillah, so mm -hmm. far we are exporting more than 65 countries on the world. And it mm -hmm. is also is required by the market wise. Of course. And we are producing all the type of you know, jasmine, rose, mm -hmm. uh, the, all the type of uh, flower. I show you the raw materials, more than 
2,000 types of fragrance we have available in our factory. So when we want to produce for special some countries, we will follow these countries what type of fragrance, what type of perfume, what mm. type of customer is looking for. Accordingly, we are producing. And so far, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. we have uh, more than 1,300 product in our hara, under name of the Al Haramein. And almost all product, I can say, very, very successful on our very product. Good. And now in the European market, American market, Russia market, if you can go to some of the product, this Leventure, Junnoon, mm. you can go to see this uh, Amberwood Gold yes, Edition. Amber that is alhamdulillah is alhamdulillah. almost all countries are people are like and they are buying yes Uh, we want to ask you a little bit. You go ahead for the Arabic perfume and the Arabic and the oud and everything. That you go ahead for uh, the French fragrance. Yeah, this is, yes, of course. There is a lot of pro perfume in the French product. You can uh, not only this out of 1,300, you can say 80 uh, percent, 80 percent in the French perfume, French product, uh, fragrance of the French, because you see that's why I'm telling the people when thinking the, the Al Haramain, they're thinking that only the wood base and other base yes, product. And other but base, yes. please, I request visit Al Haramain. See the product of Al Haramain. You find everything. See, you can find everything. Yes. And Alhamdulillah, I can say now in the Haramain in Middle East is the household name. And everybody, Alhamdulillah, they like our product. And some of the product they must use. Of course. Uh, so like Bukhur, Oud, yes. Alhamdulillah, they must use. So I'm very. Uh, uh, Thanks to the our customer, of they like our product. Yes, and of course. we'll try our best level to give you the good product with the reasonable price they can afford to buy. Very good. First of all, uh, let's talk again about uh, the perfume and this industry. How it's made this perfume inside the factories of Al Haramain? Can we talk a little bit about this process? Okay, process. First of all, when we have the uh, thing that some of the product is going to the this season this market uh, before we are going to thinking we have the production department mm -hmm. we design the bottle we design the box we design the uh, we're looking for the perfume and uh, we have lot of uh, perfume and according to the bottle according to the box then we'll decide this is going to be the uh, French perfume or Middle East perfume or wood perfume or amber based perfume. So we decide and then after uh, we have the lab, the lab will going to test the product perfume and after testing the perfume there is a lot of process going on. You have to see you put the uh, cool minus temperature, hot temperature, there is a changing of the color, there is a changing of the fragrance, how long it will be going to long lasting. All this checking, then we have to start the, for the production. Okay. And if we can start today to think one of the product, mm -hmm. it is take minimum one and one one year to one and a half year to oh. come to the market. To come to because the, market. the bottle you require the mold, yes. box you require the mold, of and course. the palm color, everything. everything. If you uh, and we are not making any copy from anybody. Whatever we are making, in, even in the bottle or the box or mm -hmm. design or the fragrance, everything we developed ourselves. Very good. Because if I developed myself, we have been, uh, we can con uh, convince ourselves that course. is we have done the best. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are do everything in our own factory. Right. We yes. cannot uh, do outside. Yeah. 
Asia. You said that you do your own design, your own bottles, uh, you do your own way. Yeah. So uh, you're unique, you didn't co do copy for any of uh, the other brands no, or no, uh, for you do your own name, your own brands as well. Right. There is a team behind these creative things or creative bottles you have? Yes, of course, there is a team. My, my brother uh, helped us oh, first. Very good. Now, my son is looking for the new production. Yes. Uh, he's supposed to be here today, but unfortunately he got to for uh, embassy. Some work oh, is there. Good. So my la latest, all the design develop is doing my son with his, his the team. There are people expert for the bottling, expert from the design, expert from the box design. Mm -hmm. uh, so w one person, it is not possible to of complete. Course, to it, is, it is uh, required the whole team yes. to work. And we have the multinational people are working in our company. Yes, of course. It is not the one or two nationality. Multinational company, yes. uh, nationalities are working in our company. Mm -hmm. And so far, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, everybody is giving their own effort. And some uh, the finally when the perfume and the fragrance it is come I have to decide some of the perfume especially yes. uh, in the wood item amber item that type of product I should choose myself yes. and give it to the market. So we can say, Mr. Muhammad, today that it's pure family business. All of you do a hard work to do this success today to build this name. It's from many years. So let's talk about this ingredients. From where you bring these ingredients to make this good perfumes today? Is the ingredient you can is not uh, ab available in one uh, one yes, the country? One it country. is many t different countries of the world. We are sourcing from the Asia. We are sourcing from the Europe. Mm -hmm. We are sourcing from the um, uh, Europe and even uh, America side also. There is a lot of uh, tea, lot of flower, lot of. Uh, things get the different different smell so you, you have source from all over the world the type of fragrance but some of the fragrance especially they are manufacturing like agarud in our we are manufacturing some of the niche well, in france there is there is a lot of perfume manufacturing they are making we are uh, rose we are importing from uh, uh, turkey very and good. The so for Bulgaria, too many places, too many places. Yeah. Even even in Saudi Arabia, one of the rose taifi is very good mm -hmm. and very high quality of the of smell we can get. We are buy from Saudi Arabia also. So yeah. there is a, a raw material fragrance we are buy from many countries of the world. Very good. Let's talk a little bit about this creation today. What you add? If I ask you today, what you add as Al Haramain Group? to uh, the perfume industry today? You see, our Rasulullah Islam like the khushbu, like the f smell. Yes. So, and especially in Agarud, and yeah. we are from Saudi, started from Saudi Arabia, and people are all, when everybody going to Saudi Arabia, they are uh, going to Haram, they are using the Hatar, yes. when the Kaaba, they are putting the Qilaf, the uh, Oud, or Atar. You didn't stop on Arabic perfumes and Oud, you go ahead for too many types of perfume. So now everyone in UAA know what is Al Haramain brand. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. 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 Let's talk a little bit, Mr. Muhammad, about branches. How many branches you have and where you have these branches under the name of Haramain?
we see we have uh, almost 40 showroom in Dubai right. in UAE mm -hmm. and all the Middle East countries Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. Kuwait Oman Bahrain mm -hmm. all over the GCC country we have our own showroom where we don't have this showroom we have put our agent from the agent they are distributing the our product to the uh, their market mm -hmm. and uh, right now we thinking it, it is better to have a more agent from all over the world so they can distribute easily from our uh, side we cannot open all over the world the showroom it is very difficult to maintaining mm -hmm. this number one number two there is a lot of uh, formalities on those countries if you're going to the foreign company there is a policy of the country so people from those country if they uh, have opened their showroom under name of Al-Haramain and we are supporting them I think it will be much better Very good. It's really, uh, we saw today that it's hard work and patience behind this big uh, success today. Let's talk a little bit about the companies as we know that Al Haramain Group is the mother company. Yeah, but there is a lot of companies under this name of Haramain. Let's talk a little bit, like example, Al Halal and Fridge. Let's talk a little bit about them and about services provided from them and what is the difference between uh, both companies there. Okay, this is the all in under the umbrella of Al, Al Haramain. Well, as I told you before that when we are going to the market, so people thinking that it is only for author and wood item. Yeah. So my son have get the idea that we have to have a other brand name which one is not related with the Arabic name. So mm -hmm. uh, that is the name Al uh, Reach and R and R. And from that R and R we have started the production. Alhamdulillah, we are selling many countries of the world mm -hmm. and uh, Al Halal product. Let's see uh, Al Halal. Okay. There are the uh, market which one is looking for the uh, cheap product. Yes. But if it is name of the Al Haramain, we cannot go. The product is very less and low quality. Mm -hmm. Even we cannot compromise on the quality. Then we have start a name Al Halal, mm -hmm. and that Halal also uh, we are not mainly in local market. We are exporting the African, Asian, and other countries mm -hmm. uh, with the middle range of the product, not very high, high range of the product for the mass market. So uh, we talk about the companies under the name of Haramain. Haramain is not just one company, it's a big name and the big companies and you have a lot of branches even here in UAA or outside. Let's talk a little bit about Bangladesh and about the project there. Uh, we heard that there is a hospital and there is too many things. Of course, you see, uh, even in the, um, out of my own business, uh, we have uh, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zaid, Bangladeshi Islami School in Abu Dhabi. Oh, this is, I'm one, one of the sponsors uh, in that school. Okay. And we have Bangladesh Business Council in Dubai. Mm -hmm. I'm the president of Bangladesh Business Council in Dubai. We have the responsibility for the social work and also we have the responsibility for need to help the people around the world so we have uh, required education is required help, uh, hospital is required so then i open a hospital in bangladesh which one is 250 bedded hospital and it is you can say very high class hospital all type of machineries uh, equipment it is from the European and uh, there are uh, service what we are trying to provide. Lot of people have need for the 
um, help of the of health course. care. Yes. So health care in Bangladesh, al Haramain Hospital, mm -hmm. we have the tea garden in Bangladesh. And we ha I'm also uh, uh, chairman of the NRB Bank. We are involved in the financial sector also. Mm -hmm. uh, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, we try Mashallah. to be not in uh, yes. one part in one and part also one industry. one industry and of course that uh, something uh, required also of some course, people. Of so we are Alhamdulillah involved on many yes. many different sectors. Forty years from success, forty years from hard work, and you go for a lot of industry and your success in all all of them that we can say. Let's talk a little bit about the marketing now, about the process of marketing. If it's the marketing here, just in UAA, about uh, Al Haramain Group, or outside as well. No, no, no. Alham Alhamdulillah. First of all, this is we have to start in Saudi Arabia, then the Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, there is a market in Middle East, mm -hmm. as well as we are looking for the all over the world. And mm -hmm. uh, our product is acceptable by the all over the world. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, we are exporting more than 65 countries in the world and our product is well known in the market and mm -hmm. we are going on the market we are advertised but one thing uh, my personally feeling that i give you the good product mm -hmm. with reasonable price the product himself he going to the market yeah. marketing yeah. if people are going to, uh, to advertising about, yes. all these things so, but i think that uh, if the advertisement cost I should be put in the product mm, yes, if I give the reasonable price and give the quality and if you buy the product and you like the product of course you will continue to buy and you can you can you yourself buy and you can tell yes. your friend Sorry. your family that okay go to Al Haraman and buy the, the product. good reputation everyone know it yes everyone that, that's okay. why As we say before, uh, to get the success is not easy. Even you're not in your country, you're in a, a second country, and you build yourself, you build your own uh, business, your own product, your own way, as we say, and your own brand. So uh, there is a lot of difficulties, of course, faced you since you start until now, because you start from zero until this big success, alhamdulillah, today. Let's know about uh, this uh, f uh, difficulties and problems that you find and how you faced Mr. Muhammad until now. I think you see, uh, first of all, uh, God will help us. And I follow the what my father said. Of course. He said, once uh, whenever you go, which country you go, first of all, you fo should follow rule and regulation of this country. Yes. This is number one. Yes. Number two, you cannot do anything bad for this country. Third thing, whenever you coming from the, your original, you don't forget it. Mm, yes. Number four, he said, you must have sincere and honest. Mm -hmm. So I follow this all instruction giving my father and so far alhamdulillah i did not find any problem when i follow the, the instruction st instruction yes if i don't follow of i'll course. follow the problem of course but alhamdulillah so far i follow the instruction and from my family side is very big support yeah for my for family side if not giving the full support my wife my brother my yes. sister my daughter my son everybody are giving all of the support 
for their support, I can come here today. Yes, so we Without their support, thanks to them. Uh, thanks to them, yes. thanks to the Allah, uh, and thanks for to all the supporter who yes. give me the encourage to do sincerely work on this. Yes, place. because your family and Allah, of course, uh, they was behind this great course, man today yes. and this great success as we can see. Uh, as you know, Mr. Muhammad, there is a lot of challenges, especially in this industry now. A lot of companies, a lot of factories that uh, we need to know. Al Haramain Group, how uh, it's uh, uh, book a place within all these challenges and how she did uh, new new things and she add new things to uh, this industry. Okay. Every market is the challenge, and I like to be challenged. Of course. I like to be competition. If I don't make the competition, I don't have the challenge, I cannot develop myself. Of course. If there is a competition, I should do better. Mm -hmm. There is a competition, I do be better price. Yeah. So I like to competition, and I think that this competition is good for the customer. Mm -hmm. So I cannot monopolize and give you the price which one, if there is a no competition, I can give you the high price. Mm -hmm. But yes. now if I'm giving production to the market, before I thinking then people are selling similar product, how much? Mm -hmm. I should go for that, uh, that range. I cannot go high product. So I like the competition. I like the product uh, marketing, top marketing, so I can develop myself. Of course. As you know, Mr. Muhammad, there is a future plan on all industries and all companies, big or small. We need to know your future plan to upgrade this company or these companies to the next level. So far, Alhamdulillah, we Alhamdulillah. are every day developing. Of course. And every day market is required. Of course. And I think that from uh, now, from last 40 years, we have been developed a lot. And we are continue to develop, and uh, inshallah, I hope my son also try to develop the yeah. new thing and new way to going. So I th don't think so. There is any problem. I hope inshallah, Al Haramain will will be the one of the best company, uh, all the Middle East companies. Of course, we hope so. We inshallah. hope all the success and more and more here and outside UAE. Inshallah. So uh, from this big experience, Mr. Muhammad, today this a long way, this good success and great success as we can today uh, saw it. We need from you advice to the youth people. They just start their career and they just start their own project. What you will see. When you start any business, or you can go to anywhere, even in job also, you must dedicate it, your job, your uh, uh, production, or your thinking. You should not go right and left. And whenever you work, whenever you start any doing, you first of all, you must think that sincerity, is honesty is much required. If you think that sincerely you can develop something, you start your business, and you have the vision that from here to there I am going. So, Alhamdulillah, Allah will help you, and you need to hard work, you need to be a, a passion. When sometimes business loss, you cannot disappoint it. You cannot say it is not possible. If you, everything is possible if you work sincerely hard work. I think I have also started to, when I start, I am 18 hours I am working Mm. And still, Alhamdulillah, I'm working more than 12 hours. And it is required to hard work is very, very important, sincere, honest. And whenever you work, you have to be uh, follow the rule and regulation of the country where you are living. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad, about this great uh, interview, this great information, this big success today. Thank you so much. Thanks, our viewers, for watching us and to another episode.